Welcome back to our video series on plant diversity and evolution. In this video, we're going to look at the reproduction in seed plants, gymnosperms and angiosperms. We're going to use the pine tree as our poster child for all gymnosperms and basically any flowering plant to represent the angiosperms. Remembering that in the gymnosperms, or in the pines at least, the reproductive structures are cones, and in the angiosperms, they're flowers. Now, I may turn this into a two-part video, uh, depending on how long it takes me to get through the gymnosperms, but uh, let's start there. So, the life cycle of the gymnosperm. Looking at the pine trees, we have the reproductive structures, the cones, but there's two types of cones. There are the female cones, or the seed cones, sometimes called the woody cones. They're what you think about when you kind of visualize a pine cone. But we also have male cones, or pollen cones. They're smaller and spongier in texture, and obviously they're the ones that are going to make the pollen. Let's look at the male side of things first. Here's a pollen cone. Remembering that this is the sporophyte generation that we're seeing, the diploid generation. And sporophytes make spores. So let's zoom in on part of this pollen cone. The sporophyte is going to make spores. And since the sporophyte is diploid and the spore is haploid, we need meiosis. Now specifically, since we're going to make the microspore. Remembering that seed plants are heterosporous. We have a microspore and a megaspore. And so in the pollen cone, through meiosis, we make the microspore. Now we know that spores become gametophytes. And the microspore specifically becomes the male gametophyte. And if we remember, in seed plants, the male gametophyte is, pause the video, write down what I'm about to say, pollen. That's right. The male gametophyte in seed plants is pollen. This represents the gametophyte generation, at least on the male side. Let's move over to the female side and look at the woody cones, or the seed cones. And if we zoom in on a section of this, one of these scales, and then we zoom into one of those, we see an ovule. And again, this is the sporophyte generation. So inside the ovule is a cell called the megaspore mother cell. Now if it's a mother cell, it means it's going to give birth to some other cell. And it's the cell that's going to make the megaspore. So it's diploid. It's the sporophyte generation. We're going to need meiosis to make it haploid. So inside the ovule, the megaspore mother cell undergoes meiosis, making four haploid cells. Now only one of these is going to become the megaspore. These other three kind of go away. They're not important. Now, this megaspore is the haploid spore, and we know that spores become gametophytes. So it's going to grow by mitosis to become the female gametophyte. So this, and I've blown it up a little bigger here, Inside this female gametophyte are a number of cells, one of which is the egg, because gametophytes make gametes, and the other is the endosperm mother cell, which is going to give rise to the endosperm. Now we're going to talk more about the endosperm, but it is the nutritive tissue that's going to sustain the embryo after fertilization, but we don't have it yet, we just have the cell that's going to give rise to it. So the pollen cone made pollen, and in the seed cone, uh, in the seed cone we've uh, set up everything to make a seed. We just need pollination to occur. So here we have our female gametophyte mate holding our egg in our endosperm mother cell and we just need pollen. In the pine trees pollen is brought by the wind. It's wind borne. It's not brought by a pollinator like we might see in flowers. No, no insects involved here. So the wind blows pollen over here and when the pollen reaches the scale of the cone it uh, discharges the sperm. The sperm is going to fuse with the egg and fertilize the egg and make the zygote. The endosperm mother cell divides, producing the endosperm. Now the zygote is diploid. It's the result of fertilization. The endosperm, the nutritive tissue around the zygote, is haploid. Now the zygote will become the embryo and surrounded by the uh, endosperm, the nutritive tissue, and we are formed the seed. Now the seed, uh, if we go back to the seed cone, the seeds are found here. When the cones mature, the scales peel back like you see in this picture, and the seeds can fall out of the cone, land on the ground, and grow into a new pine tree. And that's going to do it for the life cycle of the gymnosperm. 
Now I'm going to make the angiosperm life cycle and reproduction its own video. It takes a little longer, so come back for that one. If you have any questions about this one, leave me comments below uh, the video, and um, I hope you learned something.